What are the creative ways that we can show how we are responding to this new world? Welcome to the Creative Mindset Podcast. My name is Isolde Trachtenberg, and I'm super happy you're here. On the show, I focus on creative thinking, problem solving, and living. Most often, I'll discuss how to ignite inspiration, meet challenges, and achieve goals through creative thinking. Sometimes I'll have guests who give their perspective. Usually, it's people who are already living their best and most creative lives. Okay, let's get to it. Hello, and welcome to the Creative Mindset Podcast. My name is Isolde Trachtenberg, and I'm so glad you're here. Wow. So I have been doing a lot of learning recently, just a lot of soaking up all sorts of information, and I attended a webinar today that I want to tell you about. I think it is brilliant and amazing and wonderful, and it was all about sort of the transformation we're all going through, particularly if you're a creative, particularly if you are a creative entrepreneur in dealing with our new world. The world has changed, you know? The world has changed, and it's probably going to change some more. And I don't know if and when we're ever going to get back to what it was before five weeks ago or whatever. So now we're facing a new way of looking at everything. And I went to a webinar, and the woman was talking about, for business owners, if you've got a website, for example, she said, you know, One of the things you want to do with your website is you want to say how you, yourself, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, as a creative, as an accountant, as a lawyer, as a singer, as a whatever, how, if you have a business of your own, how are you dealing with uh, serving your clients better, well, ably, as part of your response to the coronavirus? So... If you're, for example, if you're a bakery, how are you taking care to uh, minimize social contact? And how are you cleaning your counters and everything and and your ovens and everything? How are you taking care of the customer that you want to still keep doing business with? And the same thing can be done for creatives. What are the creative ways that we can show how we are responding to this new world? You know, what what, what is the way that you can show that you're responding to it? I'm always up for compassion and kindness and tolerance, right? So I'm always up for let's let's think of things in those terms. But we also have to think of the business end of things. You know, I, I say this a lot on the, on the podcast that artists are artists and, and creatives are creatives and that's fabulous, but we all have to be business people as well. If you want to keep your art or your creativity as a hobby, no worries. You don't need to be involved in business, but if you want to make... Uh, business out of this, if you want to make money out of it, you absolutely have to be concerned with all of the things like marketing and building your email list and and networking and getting a good landing page and figuring out what you're going to give away so that people will sign up for your mailing list. I mean, it's a never-ending event, if you will. And yet we still have to do it. If you are a creative, you have to be thinking in those terms if you also want to make your creativity a business. And so the question I have for you is what are you thinking about with respect to this new normal? For example, uh, I do coaching sessions and intuitive consulting. That's one of my the arms of my business. And so I contacted some of the uh, agents that I work with and said, hey, do you have any kind of events coming up uh, that are online, that are virtual, that I could be part of as a coach? Uh, is there anything going on like that? And and I'm doing that with clients. I'm going, okay, if you all want this intuitive consulting arm of what I do, people are having these uh, sort of virtual happy hours on Zoom. They're getting together and they're all, everybody's got a drink in their hand and they're all like, hey, it's, uh, you know, Thursday afternoon at 3 p.m., let's do it. And, and the thing about that is what's, what's important about it is that it gives you the opportunity to go, great, let me see if I can serve the way I best can in this new way of doing business, in this new way of being connected. We can't be all together for a party, but boy, can we all do it virtually. And I can sign in and I can give intuitive consulting right there as part of the situation. So there's a really interesting pivot that we can all make. One of the first things, and this came from, and I'm going to have to put her name in the, her name is Nicole, but I don't remember her last name from the webinar I went to today. 
But uh, she said, you know, one of the first things you want to do if you have a website is talk about on the website what is what is the thing that you are doing that you can do to to address your clients and customers' concerns for their safety and well-being as part of doing business. And I thought that was just brilliant. I thought, what a terrific way of looking at it. What am I doing? And so for the voiceover stuff I do and the podcasting stuff I do, I change the language. And if you want to go to uh, voice.isoldat.com, you can see. And in fact, what I might do is I might put the old version up also just so that you can see both but the, the as a as a comparison or, or maybe I'll, you know what I'll put the old version in the show notes that's what I'll do but yeah it is so interesting to look at uh, what what it is that we have to do now as creatives as business people to address the needs of the people we want to do business with whether or not it's a quote creative business unquote because you know I believe all businesses have a spark of creativity no matter what it is you want to be sure that you are doing something to address your clients and customers' needs or your fans' needs. What are your fans' needs? If you're if you're a performer, for example, and you don't necessarily have clients and customers, but you have fans who who buy your music, who come to see you live, well right now they can't see you live. Are you doing live concerts? That's one of the things that I've been doing. I'm doing I call it the Blue Curtain concert series and I'm up there doing live music as much as possible. I'm just out there and, and here, here's a Native American flute song or or here the other day I, <laughs> I sang a song that I wrote that I hadn't sung in 15 years, but it it is something to offer the people I want to serve in a way that they will be able to take it in. Right now, we can't meet. I can't invite them to a venue and go, hey, I'm performing at such and such club on Wednesday night. Do you want to come? Instead, I go, okay, on Wednesday night at 730, I'm going to be here and I'm going to be doing uh, some music or or reading from one of my books. And in fact, that's what I'm doing with my with my evenings at 7.30 p.m. I am showing up on Facebook Live. And right now, uh, on April 16th, 2020, I am reading from my book. I just finished reading Pride and Prejudice aloud, just because why not, right? Let's, let's, let's read to each other. I love the idea of that. My husband and I are reading... Um, you. Uh, you all know a Harari's book, Sapiens, to each other right before we go to sleep every night. And it's wonderful to have somebody read to you. Just, it's not an audio book. You can actually see me read, right? So it's it's really interesting. It's a different, it's a different experience and it's one that I can offer. So I finished Pride and Prejudice and now I'm reading Fiddler's Talisman. Again, it's an experience that I can offer the people who like my books or who like my music or or who want to do business with me in some way. This is about me being of service. I'm not expecting money in return. In fact, none of this is costing anything. It's just a way to offer to serve the people who have been uh, loyal to what I'm doing before and who will hopefully be loyal to what I'm doing as we move forward. And not loyal, you know, crazy loyal, but just like because they like what I'm doing. And ultimately, I know they talk about this whole no like and trust thing, and it's true. If, if people know you, if people know who you are, if they like you, and if they trust that you have their best interests at heart, then you're going to, no matter what your creative outlet, you're going to develop deeper and deeper relationships. So think about the idea of um, developing that, figuring that out for yourself. What is your response to, <laughs> I'm hoping that my booth is, is uh soundproof enough that you're not hearing all the noise my husband is making, but uh, I don't have the flap closed that would make it completely soundproof, so you might be hearing all sorts of funky noises. Anyway, the question or the the thought that I want to leave you with is, what is your response? If you're a business owner or an entrepreneur or a creative, figure out what your thoughts are about the virus and how you can rearrange what you're offering to offer it in a way that will be useful to the people who are your clients, your customers, or your fans. It's a really powerful way to do something that will connect you to people really, really effectively and connect them back to you so that you can be in relationship with one another and so that you can share and give to each other in this time that's so turbulent and so uncertain. Those are my thoughts about that. And I am Isolde Trachtenberg. If you like what you're hearing, please 
consider leaving a review of the podcast. And you can even say, yeah, the door slamming was really loud today. I would love, it would mean the world to me to hear from you and to know what you're thinking. And if you already have a response to the virus and and sort of what you're doing and how you've rearranged things to serve your clients, customers, and fans, I'd love to know about it. Drop me a line and let me know or put it in the review. Until next time, once again, this is Isolde Trachtenberg, and let's get to it. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. Please subscribe to the podcast if you're new, and please tell your friends about the community we're building here. Today's episode was produced by Isolde Trachtenberg and is copyright Isolde Trachtenberg 2019. Today's music was from Kevin McLeod, Laser Groove, and Ava Marimba, brought to you by Creative Commons License 3.0. As always, please remember this is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Past performance does not guarantee future results, although we can always hope. Until next time, I send you all all of my love.